Well, in other news, a cricketing controversy continues to simmer with the fate of the Asia Cup still uncertain. Hosts Pakistan have threatened to boycott a test series in Sri Lanka after reports emerged of the Sri Lankan cricket board's reluctance to commit to the hybrid model proposed by the PCB. The PCB proposed uh, the hybrid model to ensure the participation of India. India and Pakistan have not played a bilateral series since early 2012 and all subsequent encounters have taken place on neutral ground and in multilateral events like the World Cup or the Asia Cup. India have refused to travel to Pakistan citing security concerns and the PCB has offered to host all matches involving India in either the UAE or even in Sri Lanka. An option is also on the table which sees Pakistan hosting four games before the entire tournament relocates to a neutral venue. Pakistan had threatened to boycott the ODI World Cup in India later this year if the Indian board, the BCCI, does not accept the hybrid model. However, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh are wary of playing in the UAE due to the harsh weather conditions and with the tournament being played just ahead of the World Cup, that has led to more well, sabre rattling and the PC, PCB and its chief Najam Sethi uh, have made several statements. The Asian Cricket Council is expected to meet later this week to thrash out a compromise. The Pakistan Cricket Board is also not uh, too happy with the International Cricket Council's revenue distribution model for a four-year period between 2024 and 27. The PCB stands to make around $35 million a year with the BCCI garnering the lion's share of $231 million or 38.5% of the total disbursement. The PCB agrees that India deserves a bigger share by contributing more than $3 billion from broadcasting deals but wants the ICC to explain the calculations for the comparatively minuscule outlay for the rest of the full member countries. And our sports editor Digvijay Singh Dio is now joining us live for the latest on this and a uh, well uh, Digvijay, India has so far remained silent on this hybrid model and the ICC has not intervened. What is, going, what is it going to be finally to break the stalemate? Well, you know, as things stand, I think that the BCCI and the Indian Cricket Board has got its way. It's made it very clear it will not go to Pakistan. It did not blink when Pakistan threatened that it would boycott the ODI World Cup in India. Because let's face it, Pakistan not coming is going to affect the ICC just perhaps in terms of uh, revenue for one game. But uh, it's not going to significantly affect what India is going to get in terms of uh, revenue from that tournament. So Pakistan is in a sort of a catch-22 situation. It needs the ICC money to sort of run cricket in the country because uh, there's a larger game as well. You know, the reason it's very uh, gung-ho about hosting the Asia Cup, despite the problems that you mentioned, is that it's hosting an ICC event uh, in a couple of years' time. Full-time cricket has returned to Pakistan in sort of in spurts, uh, ever since what happened to the Sri Lankan cricket team in 2009 when they were attacked by terrorists outside of Lahore's Gaddafi Stadium, teams are sort of KG going to Pakistan. So that's why the PCB wants to show the world that we can host a tournament. But what's happening now, Bhairavi, is that Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, who, who Pakistan sort of ex expected to back its stand of, of adopting one of the hybrid models, they're not sort of very keen because it's going to be very hot in the UAE. Sri Lanka perhaps is looking at the fact that it gets to host some part of this tournament, which means there's some revenue coming. The financial situation in, in Sri Lanka is pretty well known. So it's, uh, it's one big tamasha. Hopefully there'll be some resolution because the reports which we are hearing is that the Asian Cricket Council will go ahead without Pakistan if the PCB uh, does not back down. Right, Digvijay, and of course we'll be tracking all the latest in this Tamasha with you as uh, we have more developments. Thanks very much indeed for joining us with the latest there.